What's up my mermaids and mermen? I'm the hipster mermaid. So I did an entire video on my doll collection and I thought I'd show my plush collection. So to those of you who don't know, I really love plushies. They're so cute, especially Disney ones. Um so I'm gonna try and so I'm gonna try and explain all the plushies and like where I got them from. So let's get started. Just starting off on my Ottoman, we have my three builder bears. So this one is of Dory from when Finding Dory first came out, which was Lord knows how long ago. Then we have these two ones, which are of Elsa. So those of you who don't know, Frozen is one of my absolute favourite Disney films ever. I loved it ever since I was a kid. So this one is of Elsa from Frozen Fever. So to those of you who don't know, Frozen Fever is a short. It's not an actual hour-long Frozen film. The only way you could see Frozen Fever at the time was to go see Cinderella, which is another one of my favourite films. Um, but yeah, this was my first Builder Bear. This one's of Elsa from Frozen Fever. I love her. Then the second one, this one is of Elsa from Our Lost Frozen Adventure, which again is another short. And this one came out in 2017, so I was still in high school back then. Um, but unfortunately, I couldn't find the dress that she wears in the short film, so I had to put her in the dress that she wears in the first film. But I love her. I think she looks really cool. And again, this one is of Dory from Finding Dory when it first came out. And... I put him in a Manchester United football kit. I don't know why, but when I was a kid, I was really into Manchester United. I don't know why, because football's never really been my thing. But, yeah. Then over here, we have my Chinese dragon. I got him from my hamper this year. So this year, my mum got me an entire Chinese hamper with like Chinese noodles, fans, chopsticks and also this little dragon here. I love it so much. Might be so much of Mushu from Mulan. I really love this dragon. And here we have Stitch. Stitch is one of my favourite Disney characters ever. Um, I got him for Christmas last year. Then here we have Max from, he was a McDonald's Happy Meal toy. Um, but my friend gave him to me years ago in high school. Then here we have Sebastian. Now, unfortunately, he's not from the Disney store. He's not. He's from Sensi. Um, I really love Sensi. They really make like good products. And I remember when I was 16, that's when I got him, um, I told my aunt that I had two little Momo plushies, but I'll get to them soon. But I didn't have Sebastian. And she was like, oh, well, I've got Sebastian. So if you want, you can have him. And I was like, okay. And she gave me this one from Sensi, and I love him, he smells so lovely. Then, here we have Olaf. I had this since I was a kid, so I don't even know if it's going to be in stores anymore. Um, originally, this little call button here was originally here, but unfortunately I broke it years ago, and so I glued it here. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful not to break that, because once it's broken, that's it, because this thing's like 10 years old. Then here we have a unicorn. Now, my friend gave me this when I was in high school, so I have no idea where she got it from. Sorry, but she gave it to me because I love unicorns. Then here we have another builder bear. It's of a cat. Then here we have whatever the heck this thing is. It's meant to be like a unicorn or something. This was my younger brother's, but it's mine now. Find his keepers. <laughs> then here we have this, like, emoji. Um, if it's dirty, sorry, I've had it since I was a kid. Then here we have Zero. He's from the Disney store. I got him for Christmas a few years ago. Can't remember exactly what year. Then here we have a pug dressed as an alicorn. Um, I remember I got this one back in 2020. Um, basically I was like really badly sick at the time. Like, I don't want to go into, I don't want to go into detail. Don't want to cross anyone out, but... But basically, in a nutshell... I stayed off school for two weeks, and so my stepdad felt really bad for me. So he went to town, went to a claw machine, and he won me this. Love it so much. Then here we have Flounder 
from my favorite Disney film ever, The Little Mermaid. He's from the Disney store. I got him for my 16th birthday. Basically, my aunt got him for me. Um, cause like I said, I really wanted a plushie of Flounder cause I have Ariel and I'll get to her at the end. And so she got me Flounder to go with Ariel. And I love him so much. He's so cute. I love Flounder. Flounder, that's such a guppy. <laughs> And here we have these ones here in the back. So here we have Olaf. Um, he's from 2020. Um, I have no idea what store he's from though, unfortunately. Same thing goes for Bo Peep. I don't know where she's from, sorry. Then here we have Smurf Willow. <laughs> um, again, she's a McDonald's Happy Meal toy, but my friend gave her to me. Then here we have Pascal. Um, I loved Rapunzel when I was a kid, fun fact. Rapunzel's one of my favourite Disney princesses, but then ever since Frozen came out, Elsa's been one of my favourites instead. Then here we have Stitch, and he actually has a really cool gimmick. His face lights up. Um, I got him for my 17th birthday. Um, yeah, but unfortunately he's not from the Disney store like the others are. He's from another store. It's called Primark. Then in the back, we have this... Um, build a bear. I got I got this one for my thirteenth birthday. So, my God. Um, but yeah, sits there. Then over here, we have Elsa. Um, again, I've had her since I was a kid. Now she was meant to talk, but unfortunately, yeah, she doesn't talk anymore because of age, and also she's a bit messed up, but. You know, Elsa is one of my favorite Disney princesses, so I keep her on my bed. Then over here, we have Stitch. Um, I got him for Christmas 2020. I love him. He's so cute. I love that little outfit. So cute. Then over here, we have the exact same Olaf as that one over there. But this one's got the coal thing over here. And unfortunately, he does have a laugh. But unfortunately, I can't do it anymore because... His, like, voice sounds all croaky because over time, because I've had him since I was a kid, like the other two frozen plushies on my bed. So, yeah. Eh. <laughs> and over here, we have Stitch again. Um, I got him for Easter in 2020. Um, I feel like 2020 was, like, the best year to buy, like, like merchandise, in my opinion. Obviously, obviously if you lost... Any loved ones in 2020, sorry for your loss. I'm really sorry that happened to you. Um, but yeah, I got him in 2020 for Easter and I love him so much. Now for the grand finale. We have my favorite Disney character of all time, Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Um, now, really cool backstory on this. Originally, she's had my name on one of her fins because my aunt had got her for me for my birthday my 15th birthday um she was from the 30th anniversary of the little mermaid um but like i said um when she got me her for my 15th birthday um my name was on one of her fins but unfortunately it came off which devastated me but yeah and you know i still love her unfortunately though because this part of her tail wasn't actually hemmed, it's starting to fray. Which is a bit of a shame, really, because I really love this plushie. But, you know, she's really cool. She's my absolute favourite plushie ever, and I keep her right here on my bed. So, that's it for my plush collection. Hope you like it. Bye!